Okay, here's a video um, that I'm taking with the Sony uh, 4K, the white model. Uh, I think it's the FZ3000. I'll check it when I get home, but I'm pretty sure it's the FZ3000. Uh, it's got a good internal microphone, but unfortunately, um, when there's wind, uh, it's pretty crappy because the wind is too loud and it drowns out the sound of your voice. So I'm facing wind now, um, head on where the wind is coming from, and I will listen to it when I get home and see how bad it is. Usually it's very, very loud, depending if you're facing the wind or not facing the wind. So um, what I used was, um, I made my own, oh, the wind is really quite, quite severe right now, even though the trees are moving, there's a, there's a really strong, strong breeze. Um, and I'm holding the, uh, the camera about maybe uh, six inches or five inches or four inches from my mouth. And um, you know, what else is I going to tell you? Uh, yeah, I'm using, uh, I wanted to see if it's still in the camera. I taped this makeshift um, <clears throat> wind blocker onto the, uh, uh, the microphones that are on the camera. And uh, what it is, is all you guys uh, know about a lavalier microphone. They're external microphones, they're called lavalier, and they're usually black and they're made of foam and it's about the size of a dime, uh, maybe a little bit bigger than a dime, a 10 cent piece. And um, it's squishy foam with lots of holes in it. So I used some uh, tape. I wasn't gonna mention the brand name, but uh, any kind of tape that you've got that's quite thin and um, uh, bendable. And I, Scott, I'm not, I don't, I'm not using the brand name. The tape, um, I squish down to a flat pancake as much as I can, the, the uh, lavalier microphone, and um, it's full of holes anyway, so some sound is going to get through. So I'll see how interesting to see how much the um, sound gets through, um, even though I taped it down quite hard and I compressed it. I made it quite tight on the... Um, Quite, it's quite tight leaning against the, uh, the holes of the microphone. So I'll see what, um, we'll see what happens when I get home because um, I want to see how much my makeshift windbreaker or wind stopper uh, is, um, uh, if it's sufficient to be in a really uh, windy spot. Oh, there's a wedding behind me. God bless you both. Thank you. Happy marriage. Yes. Thank you. Oh, we gotta go <laughs> A wedding party just went by. Hello. Well, the wind is died down a bit, and then it started to get windy again. So, I am in White Rock, so if you live nearby, you know how windy the beach gets. It's usually windy all of the time, except for maybe or, or breezy. And Sony doesn't have a good, um, the, even their internal wind stopper software in the camera, it, it, um, it doesn't really do any good. You can't even tell that it's on. I'm walking straight into wind now. It's not super, super windy, but there definitely is a breeze. And this camera is very famous, and it's also very famous of not having, um, a proper uh, um, wind 
wind blocker on it or internal software that'll stop the stop the noise. And White Rock's a perfect spot to test this out because um, you, you're almost guaranteed some kind of wind noise. Recognizable um, stores and shops in White Rock. Ka ka ka. They don't say ka ka ka, the seagulls, but. Uh, Well, and the, the beauty of using the, uh, the foam piece that goes on top of a lavalier microphone, it, if you take it off, or if you lose it, so what, because you can get a bag of, um, bag of like 10 or 12 of them for around $10 on Amazon. I mean, they're pretty inexpensive, the generic foam pieces that fit on top of the little microphone, the lavalier microphone, and you squish it down into a pancake, use some kind of tape to tape around on top of the um, microphone, and you can leave it on all the time, rather than take it on and off, on and off. If you lose it, if it wears out, so what? Get a get a bag for ten or twelve bucks of about ten or twelve pieces. So um, I came up with this idea because some some uh, some sites that, that use foam use earplugs, and they don't work. I've tried them, and they're difficult to press down into a pancake, which never happens. You can't even tell the difference um, if it is a real strong wind. Maybe the foam earplugs will work. Um, if you have a very slight breeze, but, uh, oh, a dog. Cute dog. <laughs> Is it a pit bull or a yeah. bully mix? Yeah, Is he friendly? Yeah, oh yeah, it's friendly. <laughs> He's so cute. Can I take a, a little... What's your name? Phoenix. What's that? Phoenix. Phoenix. And he's not vicious with... Uh, oh, no, she's super nice. Yeah, well, they say it's really, really... It's on how they brought up and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's in their genetic DNA. They'll snap if you train them. Any dog will. Yeah, know. any dog will, yeah. Yeah, I grew up as a kid. We had dogs and we had boxers. Mm -hmm. And they were so friendly. Yeah. You know, and boxers are kind, not really a bully breed, but... Yeah. If, if you mistreated, it would grow up to be vicious. Yeah. Exactly. But they were just like great big babies. Yeah. And, and I think the that... Biggest family dogs, dogs. What, what, what's, what's, your, what's your name again? Phoenix. 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 Look into my... <laughs> Can I ever get a, pic, get a short clip of her when she... What's well, running anyway. And put it on my channel on YouTube? No? I won't. Okay, okay. Come here. Go see him. Phoenix. He says her name is Oh, well, I'll wave goodbye. He's, he, he, he wants your food, like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good for you. Okay. You have a good one. Yeah, you too. Bye. The one good thing about being um, about uh, about this uh, 4K Sony is um, it's got a good internal microphone, except it's noisy in the wind, from the wind noise, and um, there was some other really good feature, but I forgot.
Well, there's not much more to say about this lavalier makeshift wind blocker on my Sony 4K FZ3000, or it's FZX3000, I think. It's been discontinued. They don't make it anymore. But, um, I'm going to stop videotaping. And the, the, the breeze has gone down even, even more so. It's quite... Um, now if I hold this microphone away from my mouth, like about a 22 inches, an arm length away, and then talk like this, I don't know if, it, if it's um, less loud. Now I'm, now I'm talking into it really closely a few inches. Anyway, everybody have a good day. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.